Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to some more Subnautica here on the PS4. That looks like a really, really big block of uh, copper. It is. Special equipment is required to collect this resource. Uh, I still don't know what the specialist equipment is to carve up those really big blocks. I thought it was the laser cutter, but it's not. What else do we have over here? We're at 230 meters. So we've still got a little bit of uh, depth available before we start getting crushed. Oh, hello. Is that a time capsule? Let's check my inventory space. What have I got left? Not a lot. These things actually take up a lot. I think I might drop those. This ecological biome matches seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. <laughs> seven of the nine conditions for stimulating terror in humans. Oh, lovely. It is a time capsule look. Okay. Um, I think we should drop off some stuff and then come back. Because I really want to explore this area, but... You know, we have no space left in our inventory. We've got like one small slot left. So let's go drop some stuff off at the base. We're kind of perfectly situated around this area as well to explore down there. We're really close to it. So if we do run into trouble, we haven't got too far to go to get back. It's a kind of relative safety. I just want to check out some of these other upgrades as well. Uh, I, I do want to do that sonar system. Uh, we've got one copper wire needed, two magnetite needed. How have I got two magnetite? I know I've got at least one. Start dropping a few of these bits in. That won't fit in there. Let's try this one. Get two of them in there. There's my other magnetite. Let's take those out. Non-functional laboratory equipments. We need a lab, really, for those, don't we? Uh, we're thirsty again already. I'm almost out of food as well. Uh, actually, that's more pressing. Before we start going off exploring, we need to sort our health out. It's looking a bit low. Let's grab that. Let's grab the bleach so we can make some more water as well. Oh, I can't believe how much we're burning through water. Uh, there is actually a water purifier that we can make as well from our base. We should probably look at that. There's the uh, warning that we are now also very, very hungry. Let's uh, grab a couple of quick snacks just to tide us over. Vital signs stabilizing. We'll go use our grav trap to try and uh, get some fish. we can do something with that blood oil so rather than using up all that space is that ruby don't want to lose that <laughs> I 
let's convert that blood oil. Oh, you need three just to make one benzene. Okay, well, we have three. Uh, let's just drop those back in again. Actually, not that one. Uh, no. <laughs> we'll get it right. There we go. So we've got three blood oils. Let's make some benzene. We've got something in here we can craft. What is in here? Ah. Fire extinguisher. More air pipes, etc., etc. Right. Now we did have... A water purifier, where is that? Ah, that's what we need the power cell for, look, yeah, for rubies. Water filtration system, we need copper wire and we need aerogel. I still don't know how to get aerogel. Some silicon rubber. I want to put another bulkhead in. Uh, so that actually needs to be in a corridor by the look of it rather than just an adjoining connection like that. It doesn't seem to want to let us put a bulkhead in just here. I'm a little surprised by that. Uh, let's go sort the food situation out. Let's grab some quartz for us. Oh, no, I'll let him go. <laughs> Come back, little fella. You ain't getting away from me. I say, with him getting away from me. <laughs> Hold still. There we go. Might as well pick up the quartz as well. Hope this doesn't pull up a sea shark. <laughs> a sand shark. That would be bad. New creature discovered. Oh, this does make it easy to fish, doesn't it? Okay, so I take it all back. Those who were saying use the grab trap, absolutely have 100% right. definitely making a difference. Though it still can be a little tricky to grab everything. Uh, and we don't need to... Uh, don't need to uh, pack the trap up. We can leave it there for a bit. Let's uh, climb up. So let's prep some food. Hoop fish, brand new. Never eat the antenna. Let's 
see how that does for us. Pretty good. Let's let that little fella back out again. There we go. Back in the sea moth, and let's uh, let's go check out that new area again then. There it is, there's the chasm. So now we know that rubies can be found down here as well. We'll need to keep an eye out for those. I wonder if we can find anything else down here that would be really good as well. Maybe some more diamonds down here. Although I think we probably need the shale crops for those. And we had that uh, time capsule just here, didn't we? There it is. Let's take a look in here, see what we can find in here. Uh, another repair tool, by the look of it. What else do we pick up? So we picked up uh, a new scanner and a new repair tool. Okay, don't really need those. Synthetic fibers. Might need those actually for a new... Um, let's just try and clear some of these notifications. For all these new fish and things that we've discovered. Thermo blade cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate. Oh, so we can cook on the go. That'll be useful. Still got one thing that we didn't uh, acknowledge somewhere. Ah, the propulsion cannon. There we go. Right, so let's carry on exploring down here a little bit. So that's the arm, of the uh, the cave there that we just kind of looked at. Uh, I'm a little concerned by the fact that this area apparently has seven of the nine things needed to cause terror. Uh, darkness being one of them, I'm guessing. Can hardly see a thing down here. There's a ruby. We're getting almost to crush depth. Already. We're at 273 meters and still no visible sign of a of a bottom really. Can't go any deeper. Some more blood oil. Short range scans show a cave system rich in fossilized.
site remains beneath this area. Is that blood oil as well? It's a lot of it if it is. It's weird, you know, I mean, it, this is just a cave, effectively, in a way, but it's really unnerving because they said seven of the nine causes of terror are down here. I'm now just on edge, waiting for something to leap out of the, uh, the depths of the shadows and just grab me and try and eat me. It's so dark down here, which does not help. Big lump of gold there, by the look of it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, those are going to attack me. I know they are. So we're not going to go that way. <laughs> I kind of need to find my way out of here. I've got a little bit turned around and I'm not sure where I am now. can't see a thing. I have no idea where I am. There's a ruby in front of me, but oh, we're 50% damage already. I tell you, it's a good thing we brought the uh, repair tool with us, isn't it? Oh, man, it's so dark down here. See a thing. All right, that's seabed. That's seabed in absolute pitch darkness. All right, there's a beacons over there, so that is a way to head to safety. I, I'm wondering if we're in Leviathan territory again. If we're in Reaper territory over here. Ooh, ah, now we do need copper. Is it safe for me to get out? <laughs> that is the question, isn't it? That's titanium. I want I need copper. There we go, that's some copper. Huge cluster of quartz over there. I mean, look, there's just no light anywhere. It really is unnerving to be in just such complete and utter darkness. I still don't know if I'm in a cave. I'm guessing I'm not, but... The fact that there's no light above us suggests that maybe... No, no, I can see the water. Maybe it's just night time. Oh, looks like the sun might be coming up. Moon is low, or is that just the fire of the engines? What is that? There's our base. I have no idea where we are. Sun is coming up. Ship's all the way over there, look. Now, didn't we have the floating island somewhere over here? In this direction. 
Or are we on the other side of the... It's so hard to tell. Ah, no, wait. I just saw something over here. In the fog. Is that... What is that? I wonder if that's the island where the laser cannon is. Or if it's just a cloud that's rendering in very badly. There's just no sign of anything, is there? Oh, yeah, we've got these spires again. This suggests that we are perhaps in, in Reaper territory. Be careful around here. There's some reef backs. All right, we're starting to get back to normality. <laughs> We've got the normal sea ground and uh, below us. So somewhere around here should be our base, I think. There it is. That was a bit of a bit of a journey that we went on there. I'm going to reclaim this beacon. Because I think we've been in here and we've cut our way through. Yes, we cut our way through here, didn't we? So uh, we can regain... We'll reclaim this beacon now. And we can use that to allocate our base. Uh, may as well grab the quartz while we're here. Some salvage for some more titanium. Gonna need some more salt because we are burning through our water supplies quite quickly. So we can get that water purifier. Oh no, we can't. We're full. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, uh We can actually have a proper explore down here now as well. Now that we have... Um, access to you know, greater depths. Oh god, I'm dropping the water. Don't drop the water. Drink it. Wrong button. We'll eat the food as well. There we go, before it completely decomposes. Uh, yeah, that's what I saw. I want the chance for more copper. And we got it. Excellent. Some more silver. Getting loads of silver. It's kind of lead that we're more short of. I still need to figure out as well how to uh, break up those large chunks of things. Maybe I need a prawn suit for that. Ah, no, there's copper and I've got no space left in my inventory. Hopefully I can stop it from uh, falling all the way down. Quickly, let's just drop a bit of titanium. So titanium's easy to find. Copper, not so easy. <clears throat> okay, let's head back. There's the base. Ah, sorry. Losing my voice a little bit. There we go. Welcome 
So we have some rubies. Rubies we do know that we do need for some of the more advanced things. Particularly. Uh, I'm so tempted with the torpedoes, but we need the torpedo launcher before we can do that. Um, yeah, I want the uh, Seamoth sonar, because I get the feeling that could be really useful. So I need the copper for that. Let's uh, make our copper wire. There we go. So let's go put a sonar on our Seamoth. Still need to re you know, relocate the uh, the island. We'll check that out a little bit later. Now, what was it I wanted rubies for? Something in electronics, I think. No, it wasn't in electronics. It was. Is it something in tools, maybe? Have we got any new tools? We've got the Pathfinder, the Air Bladder, Flares, Habitat Builder, Laser Cutter. I reckon we can build a propulsion cannon as well, you know. I don't know if we're going to need one, but we can build one. Um... No, it was in the advanced uh, diving equipment. So, how do I build the advanced diving equipment? A modification station. So, we need to build a modification station. Okay, what do we need for that? And where would it be? Because I know we've got all the bits we need for a modification station. Is that it? Yes, we need a computer chip, we need some lead, and we need some... Oh, diamond. Uh, so... We're going to need table coral. Gold, copper wires, and more copper again. Yes, yes, go away, notification. We've seen you. Uh, okay. Uh, let's stash that. Stash as much of this stuff as we can because we're going back to the island as soon as we can find it. I need to build an <laughs> another locker in a minute. Um, let's get the rubies stashed away. The benzene spare scanner. Uh, spare repair tool. Okay, uh, let's put a beacon up for the base. Edit beacon name. There we go. So that should now show up as base on scanner. Or uh, from a distance. Base. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Uh, and let's go looking for the island. Uh, 
Ah. <laughs> Trying to be clever and get in from underneath. It doesn't seem to be easy to do, so we'll just do it the proper way. So, uh, I'm trying to remember where we went to find the base. What is that in front of me? Is that just a hole? Yeah, it is. It's just. Uh, let's take a look at our locations over here. I don't remember which one of these it was. Was it signal 12? Was it 13? Let's try this one. Let's try life pod 13. Just trying to get in the right rough direction. And as I say, I can't remember where the island is. At least if we can get a compass heading, then uh, going forward we can set another beacon up. We're going to need more batteries for that, but... Let's just climb to the surface for a moment, see if we're heading towards the ship or not. Because I think we were heading away from the ship when we found it. Yeah, I think this is the right way, actually. I think this is the way towards the island. So there's the mushroom forest. So floating island, I think, might be a bit further along this way. Let's try and get back to the, the sea again. Yeah, it's a little sea level. Keep popping up and down, see if we can see it on the horizon. How far away are we from the ship? 1300 meters, and I see something obscured by cloud. I'm wondering if maybe that is the island. I don't remember seeing the mushroom forest the first time we came looking for the remains. Ah, there's a crab down there. getting dark again, which means we're losing the light, which means it's going to be hard to see anything. Really should have paid more attention to where the island was. Because I just cannot for the life of me remember where I need to go. See if I can use the seabed as a way to try and figure out what biome I'm in. And I think we swung back around to uh, possibly Reaper territory again. I see things sparking and glowing down here. Oh, hello. I'm 
We found wreckage of ship that I don't think we've explored before. Whoa! What are those things fighting with the sea shark, the sand sharks? I kind of want to explore this. Uh, let's take a look at what we have with us. Take some water. Uh, I didn't bring my laser cutter with me. <sighs> didn't think I'd need it. I can see a bit of prawn suit there. It's pretty dangerous, heavy, <laughs> by the look of it. Uh, let's keep moving on. Without having a laser cutter with us, we can't really explore. What is this? That's a vent. There's something down here. if there's a way in through here, but this is the same alien tech that we saw on the island the first time we went there, so we, we remember hearing something about a research facility, or a testing facility, I think that's it which means how do we get in? Looking to see if I can see a way in. There's so many sand sharks around here. It's un insane. I get the feeling if there's going to be an access point, it's going to be deeper than we can go in this. I can't even see a potential access point yet. All I can see is that vent just there. There's the wreck wreckage of the ship. deeper. Not sure this is necessarily a good idea. It gets really deep, doesn't it? This is just a vertical, almost vertical drop down. And this is crush depth. I can't go in any deeper in this and I wouldn't want to go out there without the Seamoth. So I can A, see where I'm going and B, not run out of air. cave entrance again. I'd like to go down and explore, but there is something down there, look. What is the hell is that? It's just staring at us. Is that the aliens that live on this planet? I kind of wish I had my beacon with me now. Yeah. 
appeared. I was going to try and scan him. Uh. A warper. Don't like being scanned, do they? They warp away almost immediately. Let's uh, top up the air tanks. These guys are really unnerving me <laughs> a little bit. Oh, I almost had it. The scan resets every time. Nope, I'm not going to get that. Let's go top up my O2 again. I want to know what I'm dealing with. I want to know what these warpers are. Get a full scan, please. Let me get a full scan. Come on. No, 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 no. Ninety something percent. Ah. I wonder if I've got to try and sneak up on them, and I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, he's gone. This is frustrating me. Just trying to figure out what the hell these things are. Come on, come on, this time, this time, please. Got one. Indigenous life form. A warper. Aggressive creature with the ability to teleport itself uh, and others in space. No genetic crossover identified with indigenous life forms. Demonstrates no recognized defensive behavior. Further research required. Okay, well, at least we've got a little bit of information about them now. Let's uh, let's try and check out this wreck. We've got a PDA down here. At least one PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Anything in here we can scan? Nuclear reactor fragments. 
Excellent, we now have a full blueprint for a nuclear reactor. And uh, another bit. Well, we'll get the uh, extra titanium. The prawn suit. Drill arm fragments. Bench. That's a door that we can cut through if we had a, a cutting torch with us, which we don't. Uh, I've got turned around. That's going down. There we go, there's up. I just saw a couple extra bits of prawn suit technology. There's the sea moth. Clever. Let's try to reposition this over the uh, the breach. So I can use the lights to help guide me a little bit better and also see what's down there a little bit better. There we go. Go find those extra bits of prawn suit. I think we've already got the uh, torpedo arm done. Oh no, well we have now. Just a mess of uh, stuff in here, isn't it? Oh, data box. That'll be a new blueprint. Cyclops sonar. Sixty seconds of air left. Got to try and figure out how to get out of here. Really could easily get lost in here if I'm not careful. Start making our way back. I think I'm going the right way. Yep. We'll have one more dive down there, see what we can find. And then I think we might head back. Sure, there's still other stuff in here that we haven't scanned yet. That's a dead end, doesn't go anywhere. That's where we came in. Can't get through that way. Nothing of any value down here. What is all that green stuff down there? That's wreckage.
more prawn suit torpedo stuff, but I still... I don't even have the uh, basic prawn suit yet. Alright, we've got 30 seconds of air left. Let's, um... Make our way back over the wreckage. Right, well, um, so this is, let's see, if we start climbing, there's a ruby there. I'm going to grab that ruby. try and get our bearings. So we are 680 meters away from the base on a uh, uh, a northeast by east or an east by northeast heading. Okay. Good to know. So, I'm going to make my way back to the base. I'm going to drop some stuff off. I'm going to start looking at uh, some other blueprinty stuff. See if we can get some other modifications crafted. And, uh, and then we'll probably perhaps head back this way. And see what else we can find over here. So, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob and I'll be back with some more Subnautica here on the PS4. Very soon.